I'm Cynthia Cox with Cox & Associates CPAs, LLC, and this is the Nonprofit Minute. Often I walk into a client's for the first time and I hear, we just changed softwares. And I'm thinking, wow, I wish you would have called me before you changed software. So how do you decide what's the best software for your nonprofit? There's a lot of different softwares out there and one size does not fit all and everybody has different softwares that they do well. But the first thing that I really want to see you do is go get recommendations. Talk to people who are using the software packages and talk to your CPA. Talk to a CPA if you don't have one that's, that you're, that's doing an audit or they're doing consulting with you. You don't have someone that you already use. Talk to a CPA out there and find out what's a good product. One of the things that you want to consider is the sophistication of your users because it's all about who is using the software. Do you have a CPA on staff? Do you have someone who grew into the job? They were the secretary and they became the financial secretary is a, a term I often see used. Depending on their ability to use software may depend on what you purchase. Next thing that I would consider is pricing. How do they price their software? So there's different prices for modules. Maybe you got to have a general ledger module. You generally want the payroll module, accounts payable, contributions. But depending on the particular software will depend on how they price it. Are they pricing it by modules, by pieces? Are they giving you a package price? So make sure you compare apples to apples and when you're looking at different softwares and, and see how they're pricing pricing and make sure you get a full package and get the most for your money. Finally, see what kind of support they have. When you talk to people about the software package, ask them about their support. Do they respond immediately? Do they respond intelligently? Are you having to wait for callbacks? How are the people toward you? Can you get a supervisor if you can't get a good answer from the first person you talk to? Support is paramount and I would almost pick a software based on support. But of course, obviously, you have to consider those other factors. When I first started my practice, the first company that I looked at on nonprofit software was RDS Advantage. It's a company I still recommend today. I have been up there. They're out of Oklahoma. I've used the software personally. I've audited people on the software, and I really think a lot of the company and the management, and I love their support. So it's a consideration. Remember, everybody has a different match for them with their software. They each find a way to make it work. So consider all these factors before you decide on the software package that you're going to buy. So if we can help you as you look at your software package, please call us and we'll discuss the different options on the various softwares that we've seen. I'm Cynthia Cox with Cox & Associates, CPAs, LLC, and we look forward to serving you.